Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do a frame grab or a screenshot or a screen grab as some people call it from Adobe Premiere Elements video editing software. Show you first, I'm working on Adobe Premiere Elements 15, but similar process for previous versions and same process will most likely apply for future versions. So first I want to open up a project here, file, recent projects, and I want to open up this project, this is a project I did for a YouTube video. Alright, we're going to let this project load, and here you can, uh, here you can see where you can zoom in and out of your timeline, zoom in, or you can just do it in steps, zoom out, so I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to take my marker and scroll to the frame that I want in the video that I want to export. For this one, it's going to be right here. So we're going to go File, Export, and Share. And here you can see you have several options. Quick Export, Export to Devices, but we're going to use the Image Export. Right there is your friend for this project. And uh, you have several options, 720, 1080, or you can even go to custom and go to advanced settings and select a myriad of file formats, uh, preset qualities within each file format, or you can even go down here and customize. But for most people's exports, if you just go to frame and choose either 720 or 1080 to match your project, you'll be fine. You export as a JPEG, you've got your quality of low, which is a lower quality, also known as higher compression. You have a smaller file size. On the other end, you have higher quality, which is lower compression, and a larger file size. We're just going to pick right in the middle for us here. Going to type in the name you want the file to be and browse where you want it to appear. This one's already set, and hit save. Then from here, you can open the folder. And there you have, this is one I exported earlier. And you can open it and look at it in Photo Viewer. And there's your still image created from your video timeline. If you found this helpful, I appreciate you liking the video and sharing it. And uh, consider subscribing to my page. And if you have any questions or comments or ideas, leave them below. If you have a better way of doing this, I appreciate the input below in the comments. And I appreciate you watching. Mm -hmm.